Stellantis' CEO talks output targets needs. Toyota and Daimler match investments and why Ford is growing its mobile service roster. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first. Honda is starting the year off strong with roughly double the inventory and growth in the first quarter. American Honda's Vice President of National Operations says the brand is on track to hit sales of 1.2 million and the Acura brand is aiming for 160,000 sales. Toyota and Daimler truck holding AG will equally invest in the merged Hino and Mitsubishi Fuso truck brands. Toyota says it plans to merge its troubled truck-making subsidiary Hino Motors with its Daimler-owned heavy truck rival Mitsubishi Fuso. The four companies say Hino Motors and Mitsubishi Fuso will collaborate on commercial vehicle development, procurement, and production to form a globally competitive Japanese truck maker. Toyota and Daimler say the investments will support the merged truck brand's development of hydrogen, autonomous, connected, and electrified technologies. Stellantis is planning to build more EV battery factories in the U.S. CEO Carlos Tavares shared during a press event that the company will need one to two additional battery factories in the U.S. to reach its output goals. So far, the automaker is planning to build two factories in North America. Staying with Stellantis, almost 2 million Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles throughout the U.S. and Canada will be able to alert drivers of nearby fire trucks, ambulances, and road hazards through its Uconnect infotainment system. The idea for the feature came from a hearing-impaired Stellantis employee who nearly crashed into an emergency vehicle. Stellantis deployed the emergency vehicle alert system from Haas Alerts, and an over-the-air update added the system to the vehicles. Ending with Ford, the automaker is expanding its roster of mobile service vehicles. In addition to transit vans, Ford is adding 1,000 escapes to the list. The automaker says the vehicles will make it easier for dealerships to perform light maintenance and repairs, software updates, and some recall fixes. Ford also says each Escape will be equipped with a jumper cable charger, inverter, and harness and tools provided by the dealer. Thanks for watching. For breaking news, stay with autonews.com. Have a great day.